Hey, how you doing? You good? Great. <laughs> it's kind of awkward because I said I'd let you take a, you know, take a look in here, didn't I? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, well, okay, well, let me just, let me just, fr nah, I'll play. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is the moment you've all been waiting for, and that is the exploration, the excavation, the visualization, the <laughs> emancipation of my closets. A lot of you guys have been asking for a while, and here it is. We're gonna we're gonna dive into that. But quick disclaimer: uh, there's actually gonna be two closets we're exploring today. But before you all fingers get all itchy and say, "Oh my god, he's rich, he's rich. Oh my god, I knew it. Oh my god." No, no, it's not what happened. So, let me explain. So we live in a five bedroom house, one for me, my sister, my parents, and there's a guest bedroom, and then there's an extra bedroom. The biggest bedroom has the smallest closet. So I couldn't fit all my stuff in there, and I had to put all my like jackets and stuff in this one, and I will see why, we'll see why, like when I go into the second room, like why I need this one. But yeah, that's literally the only reason why I have two closets. And I said I was gonna do this once I hit 3K subscribers, but we have blown past 3K subscribers, so thank you guys so much here. Just five back. Great. I'm gonna trust you actually. If you didn't five the screen, I'm gonna know. If you didn't have five, I'm gonna know and I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna figure something out. I'm editing this right now and I just realized that my head looks like a traffic cone. So yeah, let's, let's get into the car. <laughs> it actually looks like a piece of candy corn. What the fuck? I'm like, you're tall. Wow. Hey, hi. Hi. Um, so yeah, closet one. I'm six four. Look at this. That's incredible. Anyway, closet one. Boom. Outerwears. Look at that. Look at that, it's really not, it's, it's pretty standard if you ask me. As you can see, I have everything segregated. I mean, organized from blacks to blues, to greens, to neutrals, to uh, the warm colors. I don't really have much, so it just, it just looks a little pathetic, but that's what that looks like. Um, so it's, the way it works is that these are like my solid black stuff, like literally there's no other color but black. And then these have white on them, so I kind of put them over here. And then this one's like gray. This is my Letterman. I just don't even know where to put that. And then we have the navy blue right here. And then we have like blue. And then this is sort of the transition into the greens. And then we have the neutral tones over here, starting off at uh, brown, the darkest color. And then, and then tans. And then, yeah, just these are all the warm colors I really have. I think I had more, but I sold some stuff. Um, I also have like my hats to match as well. So reds, neutrals, greens, blues, and blacks. And that's pretty much how that how that works. A lot of people want to know what like my most expensive piece is, and I would have to say that it's between this hill figure jacket that I got like maybe two to three years ago, maybe, and then also this hill figure sweater that I got I think like maybe like last year, maybe around June or whatever. Now there's also this brown suede Armani jacket. I didn't pay for this; my friend gave it to me. But I've looked up similar items, and this could also be pretty expensive. But I mean, hey, I didn't pay for it, so I don't know if it's really fair to include that. Oh yeah, one of the most expensive pieces in my closet is without a doubt this uh, polo sweater that I got from Dillard's. Um, getting this was was literally like I had to I had to almost beg for this. It was back to school shopping uh, for my senior year of high school, and I was at Dillard's with my mom and my uncle. And so I saw this, it was like a diamond in the rough, and I was like, I have to, I have to have it. So I remember I was... Garbage truck. I put it in the cart and you know, my mom was like, oh, you know, let me see what you picked up. And so I showed it to her and she saw this and then she was like, oh no, that's, that's too expensive. And I was like, mom, you know what, you're right, but I'm willing to drop everything else that I've picked up. I had a bunch of items. I'm ready to drop everything else I picked up for this. She's like, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna buy it for you. It's too expensive. But, but I still kept it in the cart anyway because I had plans to just sort of beg a little bit more when we got to the checkout line. Um, so eventually we get there and you know, my mom's like, no, that's not gonna happen. My uncle sort of overhears and he's like, you know, what's going on? And then after like a brief conversation that wasn't in English, so I don't have any clue what was going on, um, my uncle decided to get it for me. And when I tell you, I on the inside, I was like, I, I, I was elated. Like this is literally, I had never seen something like this at Dillard. It was really cool. I loved the way it fit. It was amazing. And you know, when speaking to my uncle afterwards, he was kind of like, you know, it was of every now and then we do see a piece that just sort of calls us that we just have to have. Um, so I totally understand. And yeah, I know that was that piece for me. So 
definitely I think I'd say my favorite piece in my closet or at least like top three um, and also one of the more expensive ones I think it was around like 70 bucks 60 70 bucks yeah so no I totally understand why my mom was kind of on the fence about it but eventually got it and it is my favorite thing I own otherwise pretty much everything you see here wasn't that bad most like nothing in here is like a hundred dollars like this was like 90 this was like 90 and this was around there like nothing in here is like even like a hundred dollars but my favorite items in this closet include this little polo turtleneck that I've had literally since like the seventh grade. Like I, I have not gotten rid of it. Of course, the polo sweater, the seal figure sweater as well. Oh, this cute little officer blazer that I got from Uptown Cheapskate. It just, it's very Celine. So like, I'm a really big fan of that. The suede Armani jacket, of course. And this adorable little fireman's jacket that I got from Yellow Mellow on Instagram. I love it because it says Pat on it, who I guess was like this fireman who worked at the Emerson Fire Department. It's just super cute. Like, I just, it's adorable. So yeah, that's closet one. Now we shall go to closet two. Closet two. Closet two is basically like in the room where I sleep in. So here's like my, oh, here are my trophies. I peaked in high school. Um, but anyway, closet two. In closet two, I have my pants. These are my blue skinny jeans, wide leg loose pants organized from darkest to lightest. And then these are just my skinny jeans, black, gray, shorts. Those are like my wide leg loose pants, neutral colors. And these are more like my sporty pants. These are basically, these are literally like all thrifted. Like, like these are, this is like seven bucks. Uh, I think this is from Dillard's, maybe like 15 bucks. Like these are like my cheapest pants pretty much. Um, I get all those from like thrift stores. Um, like the most expensive thing you see here is probably like my jeans. Um, and it's probably either gonna be like my CKs or my Levi's cause those are like usually like around 50 and then CKs are like usually like 90 bucks. But any CK that I have, I pretty much got on sale cause I'm good like that. Underneath the jeans are just like my shirts. Part of me wants to organize it by putting all of my patterns in like one spot. Like to so say everything that's patterned right here and then have all my flannels and then turtlenecks and then like button ups or dress shirts. And then we can worry about like regular shirts. And I had it like that before, but I don't know. It, this honestly changes like every time I do laundry. It just depends on what I'm feeling, you know? This is like my favorite part of my closet. So these are like my rich cast of character boots, my docks, my floor design boots. Just have them organized blacks and then white and then like brown maroonish and then these are the pants that i don't want to get wrinkled by folding them i would say the most expensive shirt that's in here is probably this polo shirt i got this at a little pop-up thrift thing that my school was doing the uh, fashion merchandising association in texas state was doing and they had it there and i saw it and i was like oh no this i have to get this and it was a thrift so i was thinking okay this is probably gonna be like 10 15 bucks I cannot remember how much it was, but I do remember that once I was told the price, I was just like, oh, okay. Well, I thought it was gonna be like $5. Um, and it wasn't, but either way, it's like my favorite shirt anyway, out of like all my shirts. Maybe, maybe this black one, cause I look sexy as hell every time I wear it. Um, but it's, it's, it's one of my favorite shirts. And yeah, that's pretty much this closet. This one's pretty small. It's honestly not that as big as the other one, which is kind of the reason why I needed two closets um because i just couldn't i couldn't just fit everything in here so one thing i didn't really mention is my shoes but i pretty much keep them just right here just a little corner where my uh my soccer kicks are just because i just kind of like how that looks really no particular reason behind that other than that for aesthetic purposes, if you will. But thank you guys so much for 3K subscribers. I know I only have like two videos. It's really busy, especially because I decided to do this whole runway show thing, um, which I'm going to do like a little analysis of more in depth, blah, 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 blah. Um, but that's out of the way. So I'm gonna get to making more videos soon. I have a bunch of stuff. Um, next video is gonna be talking about confidence, finding your style. I'm gonna put those two things together. And like one brilliant, one brilliant Twitter user pointed out, they are pretty similar. So I'm gonna do that. And so, yeah. So that is it. That is all I have for you guys today. Those are my closets. That's how I keep my stuff organized. Um, thank you guys for being interested and wanting to see like how I do that. I don't think I'm that meticulous, but you know, I just like to have things organized. Like who doesn't? But anyway, that's pretty much all I have for y'all today. Um, and then until next time.